Hello, beautiful soul. Have you ever been stuck in a rainy or snowy day in the mind? Or you just feel like the loop will never end? Well, I'm here to tell you that I have had that experience. And now, let's begin this story. The first thing that I like to do is grab a silk scarf to get my hair out of my way. I love on you and then I leave you lonely. You want to get to know me. To achieve a flawless matte canvas for dry skin, we first need to focus on taking care of our skin. This is the primary focus on this story and how we will achieve the perfect balance for a matte foundation on dry skin. For this look, I am using the Skin & Co Aqua Illuminate Vizzo. I personally like this one because I got an Anseo in Marshalls and it is a good way to start hydrating my skin. A mist that contains water as the main ingredient is highly suggested and dry skin can also be a lack of moisture. Next, we will be integrating a hydrate and toner. A hydrate and toner is beneficial for dry skin because it helps the pH levels on our face. Did you know that dry skin means that your skin is too alkaline in the pH level chart? <laughs> I actually found this out two weeks ago doing a little bit of research. And I was a little bit surprised to be honest. Science. <laughs> For this step, a primer will be joining us. I've been personally loving the Good Molecules Hydrating Primer because it feels lightweight on my skin and it is plant-based. Another primer I would recommend is an oil-based primer, such as the one that I've used before from Kaylin Cosmetics. A moisturizing or an oil primer will ensure to lock in your toner and that our foundation stays in place without drying our skin. Now, let's jump into a much more fun part. Let's take our favorite loose setting powder and with a damp beauty sponge, we're going to start applying very lightly the loose powder onto our skin. A technique I recommend is to start with a little bit of powder and continue to layer accordingly. The more you apply, the more matte it will look. So please be careful not to apply too much because it will dry your skin. Now let's grab our foundation. For a long time, I've been loving the CoverGirl Matte Made Foundation. It is a personal favorite. This foundation glides effortlessly onto the skin and it looks gorgeous when applied with a buffing brush. I recommend a buffing brush with this foundation and this look because it will give you a more seamless finish. Everything will just look blended effortlessly. Now, after we finish applying the foundation on our face, we will set everything in place with our beauty sponge. Following is to conceal and contour. This step is optional, but it will give you a more sophisticated overall finish. To conceal, I like to use the hydrating concealer, such as the Jewer Full Coverage Concealer. This concealer contains hyaluronic acid, which helps retaining skin's moisture. I personally like to use concealer to highlight my skin as well. And I use it under my eyes, on the bridge of my nose, forehead, chin, and the hollow parts of my cheeks. Listen to you talk. To blend all this together, I am using a Real Techniques medium-sized buffing brush. To 
If it starts getting too thick, you can spray your brush with your face mist to break down the creaminess. Connecting? Now let's contour. To contour my face, I am using a foundation stick by Black Opal. I like to contour my forehead, cheekbones, jawline, and nose. I like contouring because it gives me a more bronzed look and it also helps define my face a little bit more. To blend the contour, I use the Sephora Ear Brush Brush. I recommend you try to use a brush that is medium in size and that feels fluffy to the touch. Let's add a little bit more of the hydrating mist. And while I'm letting the mist set on my skin, I am going to paint my lips. I like to use Max Lip Liner in Cork and a lip gloss from e.l.f. And this concludes my matte foundation for dry skin story. Oh, and those beautiful soles that you see in the back are my mom and son. Hey, life can be a series of magnificent and surprising events. External true happiness is cultivated from within. There are days that I beat myself up with thoughts that do not even belong to me. So ask yourselves, are those my thoughts or those are the world's? I know that before the problem also existed the solution. Sometimes the solution or the answer is right in front of us and all it takes is a change in perspective. There is beauty in the present and in all that we do. Take this time to create the experience you want to live. To create something beautiful. To create the stories of your dreams. To create the story that makes you happy. To create the story that makes you whole. To know that you have the power within you to change a thought that keeps going on a loop. And that is the end. Until next time. Ciao. No.